Thank you so much for joining us today. We'd love to know how God is using this ministry to touch your life. So please tell us your story by going to our website at www.christian.life. We're in a series called I See. When most people have questions, the first thing that they do is ask Siri or they Google it. But in 2018, we're inviting you to seek God first with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Thanks again for joining us today, and we hope that you enjoy today's message. love that song, prophesy. You can't do that standing still. That is like mountain moving stuff. When you get the word of God in your heart and in your mouth, did you hear that? And you start to prophesy into the world around you and you start to declare. Remember at creation, the Bible says God spoke when he said, let there be the Spirit of God moved. With the Word and the Spirit, the chaos came into order. Amen. When the Word of God is in our heart and it proceeds from your mouth as a two-edged sword, the Word of God in your mouth is no different to the Word of God in the mouth of Jesus. In the mouth of Paul, the mouth of Stephen, Philip, John. You understand? The Word of God is the Word of God. When it emanates from a believing heart and the Spirit of God moves, and how many of you know God's watching over His Word to perform it? Come on, somebody. God is watching over His Word to perform it. It's not just little words going into the atmosphere. Those words are life. And they are spirit, and they are backed with the creative force of God. Hallelujah. Has someone got faith here tonight for a miracle, for a breakthrough? Because we're going to get ready. We're going to begin to prophesy in the next few minutes into the spiritual world that we are a part of. We are not just living in a world. This world is spirit. How many of you know that God is in this place There are angels, there are demonic spirits, and the world, the earth, the order is affected by the Word of God. Jesus said to the waves and to the wind, they had to obey Him. He said to disease, disease has to obey His Word, His authority. And Jesus said, all authority is given to me. And now I'm sending you. In other words, he's saying the authority the Father has given to me, I'm giving to you. He has committed his word to us. That's why the Bible says that the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God in your life and in your mouth is powerful. Where swords are used for destruction, the Word of God is used for healing, for restoration, and for breakthrough. Hallelujah. In the natural world, the sword is used against bodies, flesh and blood as a weapon. We are using that Word as a weapon into the spiritual atmosphere around us. It causes demons to flee. I said it causes demons to flee. Darkness has to back away when the Word of God comes from a believing heart. Now, you can read the Bible and you can quote the Bible, but if you haven't embraced that Word into your very being, that just like the Word made flesh, you understand, Jesus, the Word made flesh, you have to get that Word In you, you have to begin to incarnate that word. It's from a believing heart. When that word is in you, that word is spirit and it is life. Hallelujah. And and that's why when Jesus spoke, they said, never has anyone spoken with such authority. There was authority because he was speaking the will and the word of God. And when he spoke the will and the word of God, angels were being dispatched. Demons had to back off. Disease had to bow. Circumstances had to change. Storms had to back away. 
He could easily have spoken a word and legions of angels could have been dispatched. As they tried to crucify him, the only reason he embraced the cross was he had to do something for us that we could not do for ourselves. He didn't have to. He could have changed it. But that was this great act of redemption. Principalities, powers. Satan, devil, it is written. Remember Jesus said, it is written because he knew when he spoke the word of God, the temptation, the enemy's attacks had to back away. Amen. Can't stay. Tonight, there is authority in this place. I sense the authority of God in my spirit for you tonight. You may not have faith tonight for you. I have faith tonight for you. I have the authority of God inside of me so strong right now. Hallelujah. I'm about to prophesy into your life, and if you've got faith, you begin to prophesy into your situations as we get into the Word in the next few seconds as we pray. Something's about to happen. Chains are going to come off lives. Bondages are going to be broken. Emptiness is going to be filled. Sickness is going to bow. Circumstances that have been impossible are about to change. Mountains be lifted up and cast into the sea. There is going to be some rumbling in the atmosphere as the landscape of your life begins to change. Hallelujah. As we were worshiping our sword in the spirit, there are some people here tonight that are facing giants. You remember when the giant Goliath stood before the armies of Israel and Saul, a backslidden king with a backslidden nation, were backing away from the enemy? Goliath was taunting them. And because they were in a lukewarm condition, there was no faith. There was no authority, even though God had given them the land to rule. They were not to be defeated. They were to be the victors. He said, wherever you go, wherever you put your feet down, I've given you that land. You are to dispossess your enemies. And instead, the enemy was trying to dispossess them from their divine inheritance. God's got an inheritance for you. You have to lay hold of what Christ has laid hold of for you. When Jesus went to the cross, he laid hold of what you couldn't get for yourself. But tonight, by the Spirit and by faith, you can access into that dimension the power of God to bring about change into your life and into your world. Hallelujah. How many of you feel like there's a giant standing in front of you, mocking your life, mocking your faith, mocking your health, mocking your finances? Anyone here, yeah, there's one or two. How many of you feel like there's an enemy with an army backing them that wants to take you out? Get ready. The next few minutes, some giants are coming down. I said, get ready. Some giants are coming down. I don't know, even at home, those who are watching right now, you can be a part of this breakthrough prayer in the next few minutes. This can work for you in your home. Just make sure you clear away any sharp edges around you. I'm not going to receive any lawsuits. I'm giving you a warning. My lawyers are watching this warning right now. Any sharp objects, back them away. Any sharp tables, back them away. The power of God's about to invade you in your lounge, in your bedroom. Something is going to happen for you as well. Hallelujah. Come on. Aha. Hallelujah. If, you, if you're afraid, go get a helmet. Get one of your kids' little bike helmets, the one with the big ears on and whatever, and put that on you. I know you'll look dorky, but deal with it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you ready? This is what God showed me. David had faith. David had confidence. It wasn't self-confidence. It was a God confidence. Yeah. 
because he understood the dimensions of power. He may have been a, a boy, but in the spirit he was a man. You understand? He was not just a man, he was an anointed man. God called him a man after his own heart, even when he was a boy. God didn't look at David according to the flesh. God looked at him according to the potential. God's looking at you tonight according to your potential and your calling. Hallelujah. And he's awakening faith. He's awakening a confidence in God. He's awakening a, a confidence that you and God are in uh, divine communion. And as you speak, God is speaking through you. And as you act, God is moving through you. And your enemy is about to come down. Amen. Didn't the word of God say, you shall tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil? Yeah. Show me a verse where the Bible says the devil will tread over you. The Bible says all his enemies will be made his footstool. When you put your feet down, you are possessing your possessions. Hallelujah. You are possessing what God has laid hold of for you. Some people tonight need a breakthrough. And there's an enemy facing you. There's a Goliath mocking you. But tonight he's coming down. Hallelujah. When David said to the Philistine, you see, you have to speak. I said, you have to speak. There's a time when we have to listen, and then there is a time when we have to speak. Ezekiel prophesy. And when Ezekiel prophesied according to the word of the Lord, the Spirit of God began to move. He could have kept it inside. But when the Word of God comes to you, there is a time when you have to prophesy to that valley of dry bones, that impossible situation, that defeated life, that sick body, that circumstance that is called impossible. Ezekiel prophesied, and as he obeyed God, as he prophesied, the Spirit of God began to move, and everything changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God was in his mouth. David in faith, David in God confidence said to the Philistine, you come to me with a sword and with a spear. And you remember the giant had just mocked him and said, why are you sending me a kid with sticks and with stones? How many of you have read that sticks and stones Goliath hadn't read that, that fairy tale or that little proverb. <laughs> he was about to learn that stones can do some awesome damage to a giant's head. <laughs> Something small in the hand of a man or a woman of God who has got faith and God confidence in the natural may look like nothing. But in the spirit, it's like a smart bomb. Yeah. Hallelujah. That thing is accurate. You know, someone said, well, David took five stones in case he was going to miss. No, he took five stones because he was about to bring down an entire army. Yeah. Talk about arrogance of faith. Because yeah. he wasn't going after the giant. Listen, yeah, it says, he says, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have to fight. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air. Amen. He didn't say, I'm coming after you, Goliath. He said, I'm coming after you, Goliath, and then I'm going to take all of the army. With the rest, the four stones that I've got left, that's more than enough. Because with God, what looks like little is enough to bring down an entire army. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if God before you, who can be against you? What can man do? Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Ha <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. 
four stones to bring down an entire army. Someone said, well, he's going to go after the rest of the giants. Yeah, that, he didn't even bother with the stones for them. He just took five stones because he's going to take down Goliath and an army. Hallelujah. <laughs> How many of you are facing a giant? How many of you feel like you're facing a giant and an army? I've got good news for you. You may look like you have got nothing, but just a little faith in your mouth and in your heart the Word of God in you. It looks very small, but it is so powerful. The head of the giant is about to come off. Hallelujah. Amen. Who's got some faith in this place tonight? Get ready. Let's stand to our feet. Get ready. We're about to prophesy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're, I said, we're about to prophesy. I said, we're about to prophesy. By whose stripes we were healed. Hallelujah. Who bore all our diseases, all our destruction. No weapon formed against us can prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us, we shall condemn. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in one way, he's going to flee in seven. Hallelujah. Because God is on our side and he has given us the victory. We are more than conquerors. We are overcomers in this life. Hallelujah. These signs shall follow them who believe. We cast out demons. Hallelujah. If there's a demonic attack around your life, it's about to be broken right now. Hallelujah. Chains are going to be broken from your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get ready to prophesy. I want you to visualize the greatness of God on your inside. Not just in this building, and He is here. I sense the authority of heaven in this place. But God is with you. God is for you. Hallelujah. And Christ is in you. The authority of God is in you. The Word of God is in you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let the Word of God dwell in you richly. As you have read the Word, as you have studied the Word, as you have memorized the Word, as you have meditated in the Word, the Word has entered into your heart. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you have to get the Word in your heart. That's a believing heart. That's a heart of faith. And then when you confess that Word, something is about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, I'm telling you, when you declare Jesus to be Lord, you are born again. You are saved. And that same faith that gets you saved will give you the breakthrough tonight. If you believe the word in your heart, and as you speak that word to your mountain, to your giant, to the giants and the armies that are attacking your life, something is going to come down now in the name of Jesus. Now, get ready because you are going to have to be a part of this miracle. You can't just stand there and be silent. You're going to have to open your mouth. Prophesy is what you have to do. You have to speak. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, Jesus said, if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and cast into the sea. And if you do not doubt in your heart, you'll have what you say. Hallelujah. How many of you are facing a mountain of impossibility? That mountain is about to move. Get ready to watch a change of your landscape right now. As you prophesy to your mountain, as you speak to your mountain, that thing is about to shift, hallelujah, from where it is in front of your life into the ocean where it can no longer stand in front of you and mock you, mock your faith, and mock God. David did this because he said to the giant, that all the earth may know there is a God in Israel. 
Tonight, this isn't just for you. This is a testimony that people in our generation will know there is a living God, and His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the everlasting Father. He is the mighty God. He is the God of creation. He is the God of salvation. He is the God of your breakthrough. Hallelujah. He is your provider. He is your protector. He is a good shepherd. He's watching over your life. He's not allowing a wolf to come and steal and destroy you. Hallelujah. God is for you, not against you. He has blessed you with every spiritual blessing. God does not curse you. God has blessed you. God is the giver of every good and perfect gift. God has not put sickness on you. God has not put disease on you. God has not brought poverty to your life. That is the work of the devil in this fallen world. The Bible declares that you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus which is discovered in the heavenly places where you are seated in Him far above all principality and power. You are not on the earth when it comes to your profession of faith. You are operating from a heavenly perspective. You are going to prophesy from the heavenly position, which is far above. Amen. You are not going to prophesy to your mountain right now from the earth, but you are seated in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah far above these things. You're going to speak down to them. Hallelujah. I, I want you to hear that. You're going to speak down to that thing. You don't have to speak up to your enemy. He may look big, but you are in the winning position. You are in heavenly places. Hallelujah. You are looking down on that thing with a position of ruling and reigning as kings and priests unto our God. Now get ready. I want you to get ready, and I want you to bring from the depth of your spirit with the authority of God. I want you to raise your voice, and I want you to speak to your impossible situations right now and tell that thing to go in the name of Jesus. I want you to call it out what its name is. Fear, disease, sickness, poverty, bondage, whatever it is, you call it out by name. Because if you call it out in a general sense, you're going to have all kinds of things disappearing around your life. But you want that specific thing to go right now. That's why Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Because there was so much authority. If he said, come forth, every dead person in the graveyard would have had to come forth. You understand? How many of you have faith right now to call that thing out? Come on. To move that thing. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you from the depth of your heart, with the authority of God in your mouth, to tell that giant, that army, that mountain, that impossible situation to go in Jesus' name. Ready? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, with healing in His wings, the King eternal, immortal, the only true and living God, the Savior of the world, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that He is Lord. Every mountain of impossibility, every disease, every bondage, every brokenness, every pain, every demonic uh, uh, enemy that is against your life, in the name of Jesus, right now, in this place, in the name of Jesus, I say to you, come off these lives, be broken. Come down, be moved, be moved, be moved. Be moved, be moved, be moved in these homes right now, in your home as you are watching those things that have assaulted your life. Be moved right now. Come off them. Broken, disease, sickness, bondage, whatever it is, move in the name of Jesus. I'm prophesying into your life right now the power of God to come upon you in deliverance, in healing, in breakthrough, in peace, in power, in fullness. Hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. 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 
Halleluja. 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 We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Give him thanks. Give him thanks where you are. Say, thank you, God, for my healing. Thank you, God, for my breakthrough. Thank you, God, for the answered prayer. Thank you, God, for a giant that has moved. Thank you, God, for an army that is feeding the fowl of the air. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those things are gone. They broke and they've moved off my life. That sickness has had to bow at the name of the greater one, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That storm around my life has to be still at the name of Jesus. Peace be still. In the storm, hallelujah, that storm must come to an end right now in the name of Jesus. The winds must lie down, must come down. The water must come to rest in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks, glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, all you saints. Praise the Lord. All you saints, hallelujah. Praise God, you mighty angels. Praise God, people of the living God. The redeemed, let the redeemed of the Lord say, God is good, God is great, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. How many of you are sensing God in this place? I sense God right from the first song. As we began to worship, it began to build. It began to build. It's building. Hallelujah. Breakthrough in your life. Breakthrough in your body. Breakthrough in your marriage. Breakthrough in your finance. Breakthrough in situations of pain, bondage, whatever it is. There's breakthrough. I'm prophesying it over your lives right now. Peace be still for those who are in the storms. Let everything know that there is a living God and His name is Jesus. Our boast is in the Lamb of God who was slain for our salvation, our deliverance, our healing, by whose stripes we were healed. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, I said hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Woo. Thanks again for joining us today. And if you have any questions, want more information, please visit us by going to our website at www.christian.life.